That way you can actually play it in a standard radio just like this. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you guys to an all new product that I've honestly never seen before. Now, usually the products I'll bring you guys are pretty niche specific and it's pretty much only catered to the Jeep or the off-road community. But for this product, it'll cater to pretty much anybody. Whether you're driving something old and beat up like this, or if you're driving kind of a baser vehicle just like this, you're gonna like it. So this display is actually capable of doing wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and playing the audio in various different ways. So it'll pretty much work for whatever configuration or vehicle you wanna throw it into. Even if you have a baser model of one of these new JL Wranglers, they don't all come with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, especially not wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. That just came out this year. So essentially what this device is from CarPuride is a display screen that allows you to use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in pretty much any car. So if your car already has wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, you really don't need this. But if your car doesn't, or if you have an older car, if you have an older Jeep, basically any JK, you pretty much need to have this because it gives you a lot of the features and capabilities of all the new cars. So just to start, it comes with this massive screen. I believe this is a 10.3 inch screen. Now the display is supposed to be rated around 480p, so that's gonna be a pretty clear resolution. And aside from that, it's not really heavy. So the way you're gonna see us mount this, it's all gonna make sense because it's a really thin design and it's not that tall either. So if you're having to mount this on top of your dash or in your windshield, it's not taking up too much of your view, but it's still giving you plenty of display space. That way you can still see whatever's on this screen. Now, aside from that, it comes with a couple different mounting solutions. So the first one is gonna be a suction cup mount that's actually made for a windshield. So you can tell the way this is designed, it's just supposed to mount up to the windshield. Then you can pull this bracket out and move it wherever you need to, to situate that screen however you like. And then it also comes with a mount to actually place on your dash. Now it gives you two different options. Either you can just use the double-sided tape and attach it that way, or you can actually screw it in. So depending on the application, what you're gonna be using it on, you can decide to use it on pretty much whatever you prefer. Aside from that, you've also got your audio cord. Now this is actually capable of playing the audio a few different ways. So you can use your audio cord right here and plug it directly into the head unit. You can play it out of the display. So I'm sure it wouldn't be as great as the actual sound system in your car, but it may be better, you never know. And then you're also able to play it through FM. So if you wanna to set it to a certain station for this, you can turn your car to that certain station, just like the old jammers in days of the past and you can actually get the audio straight through that. And then last but not least, we've actually got our power cord. So on this, it's just gonna plug into your standard 12 volt cigarette outlet, and then you've also got your USB-C connection. That's actually what's gonna keep this thing charged and powered up. So let's see just how simple it really is to install. So of course we've got our screen, which we've already taken out. And the first thing you'll wanna do is decide which mounting solution you'll wanna go with. I think for this one, I just wanna mount it to the windshield because on the Wranglers, it gives you plenty of space to do that. So I'm gonna pull out my power cord and also my audio cord right here, and we're gonna plug it up. So we'll just attach this to the back. I think I'm gonna set it up just like that. And this piece even has the flexibility to move up and down. So if you need it out a little bit farther, you can definitely get it there. Plug it into your 12 volt outlet right here. And now let's just start it up and see what it does. Well guys, believe it or not, the 12 volt outlet on this Jeep doesn't work. So inevitably, I'm gonna have to show you guys my brand new rod. Now I'm not gonna give you all the details, but all you need to know is this is a 2008 Volkswagen Eos, Elos. I still don't know what it is, but I bought it for something you guys will probably enjoy later. Now this is a convertible hard top. It has the sunroof. It's got high miles, it's got some problems, but it's gonna be perfect for what we're gonna do. But as you can tell, the screen is working perfectly in here. So now, as you can see, I've actually got it all plugged up in this Volkswagen. Now, this display is actually really nice, and as you can tell, the way that it's set up, you still have pretty much all the visibility that you need. It's really, really customizable for how you wanna get it set up and for what kind of vehicle you're actually installing it in. Now, you can see on the different menu options, you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you've got AirPlay, so you can set up AirPlay, you can do Auto Link, you can do Bluetooth, USB, you can use an SD card, or you can do FM transmission. That way you can actually play it in a standard radio just like this if you don't have an auxiliary port. So for this, I wanna set up wireless CarPlay. So I'm just gonna click here. Now I'm gonna to go to my phone and connect to that with Bluetooth.
Now that that's all connected, my wireless CarPlay is already set up, and as you can tell, I'm recording right there. So I can go through just like this is normal wireless CarPlay and go to whatever you want. It makes it so easy. I mean, you really just can't beat it. Now, one of the best things about this is how responsive this screen actually is. It's pretty impressive, and you wouldn't think it just by looking at it, but it is extremely, extremely impressive. Now, unfortunately, I'm not able to play music and record at the same time. Of course, you guys know I record on my iPhone, but I will tell you that this will definitely get you by. It's actually pretty surprising. It sounds good, and if you don't have a great sound system in your car, this will be better than that. Aside from that, being able to connect it to FM opens the door for a lot of possibilities on the older cars. A lot of the cars I've had in the past didn't have an audio jack, at least until I changed out the head unit, so this would be a great, great option. Now, a bit of a fair warning, as you can tell, my new purchase isn't exactly uh, up to par yet, but I want to drive it around to see if this is actually going to move around and shake, because you don't want this thing shaking around like crazy if you're going to be driving around with it all the time. Yeah, that thing is not going anywhere. Now, if you do decide to do some hardcore off-roading, that might be a different story. But as for now, it's doing pretty good. Now, whenever you just start the car, it is gonna turn on by itself. So that's nothing that you have to worry about. You don't have to turn on the power button like I thought every time. It makes it super, super easy and really easy to use. Whenever you go back to your main display, you can tell you can control your volume right here. You can control your brightness and hey, it automatically connected to my Android Auto Apple CarPlay. You can't beat that. If you wanna go back to home, you click Car Home and it takes you right back to where you were before. You've got your little time display right here and then it lets you change your background right there, which is pretty cool. And for your brightness, this brightness is actually turned pretty high up right now, but it actually has a sensor on the back here to determine how bright it should be in the auto setting. Now, whenever you scroll through, you guys will see just how fast it's actually moving. It's moving extremely, extremely fast, and you can't really beat how fast that is. That's honestly faster than it is in a lot of my other cars that have wireless CarPlay, much like the Land Rover that we have right now. So guys, I am super impressed with this and I'm extremely happy to bring it to you guys. That way, if you do have an older car or a more base level car, you're gonna be able to fix it up and have all the features, capabilities, and functionality, just like the new rides going down the street. For a great price, you can get all the features and capabilities of a newer car in your base or cheaper vehicle. For me, you guys are gonna see a lot of these in a lot of my cheaper and more base model vehicles just because I love everything that it does and a lot of vehicles, unfortunately, just don't come with it. If you haven't been keeping up with the Defender, the build is really exciting. It's been a lot of fun messing with something completely different. And if you don't know about the Rubicon 392, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what you wanna see next. But until then, Godspeed.